Hey there, and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator, and thank you so much for joining me for this one. And uh, today we are covering uh, King Joel's uh, Watchtower, or King Joe's, sorry, uh, Watchtower. And uh, this one is a pretty interesting little combat-related mod. Uh, basically, as the name would indicate, it adds a watchtower to the game. Uh, this one here. And uh, that, that's all it does. It just adds a watchtower. But uh, the benefit of this is that it... Uh, is quite a bit better than a normal turret. So uh, it basically acts as an upgraded gun turret with just, uh, you know, just a different skin and stuff. But, you know, it adds a little creativity to things. Um, so the main advantage here is the range. It has a very, very high range compared to a gun turret or even a laser turret. The range on this is actually pretty ridiculous. Um, so the range is 67, uh, whereas a normal gun turret is 18. So it's significantly more than that. And even a laser turret is only 24. Um, so it's, uh, you know, it's almost three times the range of a laser turret, almost. Uh, it obviously does only work with ammo. Um, in terms of shooting speed, I do have all upgrades um, so, uh, until infinite, at least. So, uh, it, you know, these are having the same upgrades applied to them. Uh, this is a shooting speed of 7.5 plus 11.25 a second. Um, and then this is a speed of 10 plus 15. So the base um, speed of the gun turret is higher uh, than this. And also the uh, bonus speed is slightly higher for the gun turret as well. Um, so the shooting speed isn't as high. Um, and then the other thing, um, you can see kind of the visual range there um, and then how much area they cover. So uh, if we like take a look, you can see if we place it about here, it's going to barely hit the water. Whereas here, the gun turret is like significantly less and then the laser turret really isn't that much either um, but you'll also notice it's directional uh so where the other two had circles this really can only work in one direction uh mostly uh, you know it's, it's a cone but generally speaking uh and then the other advantage to this um is it can hold five stacks of ammo whereas a normal gun turret can only hold of course the one stack of ammo um, so if we go ahead and put some ammo in here um you can see it's going to start firing and kill everything. Now, obviously, we have max upgrades. We have uh, piercing ammo, so it killed those super fast. Um, but just to show you that, you know, it's able to hit these guys way over here. Uh, so these are super good. Uh, you could, like, scatter these in with your turrets or do only these. Um, now, they are more expensive for sure than gun turrets. Um, they require 10 wood. Finally, something to do with your wood um, that you've collected. And then 50 steel, a lamp, 30 concrete, and a submachine gun. So these aren't really early game because you, at the very least, need steel and concrete. Um, and then if we take a look here at the research, this does require 150 red, green, and military. So you need at least military science to unlock them. And then uh, at least concrete um, being made and stuff to, to create these. Um, so overall, I think it's a pretty cool mod, just a nice addition. Um, it's not like super crazy um, in terms of like a bunch of new ammo and, and like crazy recipes and stuff. Uh, it's just a nice addition with extra range and a cone, which is uh, kind of interesting. Um, Got to consider that. Uh, and I, I just generally like the idea of a watchtower as well. Um, I, I think that that is something that maybe the engineer would like to build uh, or, or probably would build. Uh, in terms of settings... Here uh, we have just the one here, watchtower passable. So basically this um, is off by default, but it's saying should the lower part of the watchtower be passable, reduce the size of the hitbox and may make enemy melee attacks look strange. Um, so that's off by default. Shouldn't really be an issue, I don't think. And then um, if you think this is super too powerful, you can even um, multiply the cost of this. So it's one by default. If you want to make this even more expensive, you could do two, three, ten, whatever you want um, to balance it out if you think it's a little too powerful for the cost. Um, and there we go. So that's going to do it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. As always, there is a link in the description to the Mod Portal page where you can check this out. And uh, I believe the uh, dev for this, uh, King Joe, has made many, many more mods. So definitely check those out as well. Uh, and until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.